is actually Monday, and we are actually doing rogue actions first thing on Monday. How does it feel, Heinze? We're, we're living, we're actually like doing our job. We're actually doing what we should be. It's a win <laughs> for everyone. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. We're back on schedule again. Uh, we, it was only a matter of time. It only took us basically the whole month of January for us to get ourselves sorted. But, uh, mate, we're back. It's Monday. Uh, hope you guys have a good week. And, uh, yeah, been a bit of a slow news week, mate, over the last week or so. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about that. It doesn't feel like that is uh, going to change, but, uh, oh, gosh. We're, we're just we're going to get right into our mini moment of the week. And this is actually brought to you by our boy, Gridden. Uh, I noticed that he put this meme. It's, uh, this, uh, this is an old format meme. I know it can be kind of cringy to use really old formats, but it just mm. I just think it warrants discussion. So here you go. How long have you been playing Galaxy of Heroes? Six years. So you're good at the game? <laughs> <laughs> Grid put that together, really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. But doesn't it feel that way though? I mean, I, I I've been playing this game for six years, and there's days where I'm just like, man, I suck at this game. Yeah, I, I've just had a really <laughs> nasty GAC run just before recording this, uh, where I dropped a few battles that I should not have dropped, and uh, oh, yeah, man. we have bad, days man. like that where it just doesn't matter what you do, it just goes sideways, man. And there's only so much you can do to try and recover. But uh, yeah, it definitely stings. It really does. We have days like that, 100%. Yeah, so look, you guys, if if that's you, you are in good company. You are in good company. If, if, yeah. if Heinze and I both think we suck, right? So it's I've it's never okay. said I was good. <laughs> I never said I was good. So uh, yeah, uh, so guys, welcome to the party, pal. That's what? the way it goes. <laughs> All right, where is the news? Heinze, there was a little mini Q&A with Doja that happened. I believe it was on the Galaxy of Heroes events Discord server. Um, I want to read some of these questions to you. I don't know if you've seen this yet, uh, but it's kind of leaving me asking more questions and feeling pretty disappointed right now in Capital Games. Um, mm -hmm. Question, when is the road ahead? Doja says, as of now, it's in the future, but at some point, it will be in the past. Hot, hot. <laughs> I think we're getting another State of the Galaxy before the next Road Ahead, though. Okay, okay. so we were wrong about Road Ahead. It's going to be State of the Galaxy next, but that's like, I mean, very, very low level of commitment on when that's going to be. It doesn't sound like that's imminent at all right now. Uh, does this mean that, the, that Conquest is getting delayed? He says he hasn't heard about a delay. Our okay. news about the uh, still not implemented gear, or any news about the still not implemented gear economy changes? Not today. Hopefully we'll have something for you soon. Not soon soon, but kind of soon. Ooh. So like next week type of soon or like before March. And he said probably more like the latter. Mm. Hopefully no promises. So that's also like, okay, I guess we got a month, right? Maybe. At least. Uh, do you expect the next conquest to start on schedule? For example, first Monday in February. And he said, I haven't heard anything about Conquest Slipping, so I assume it's on schedule. If I do learn anything new, I'll try to get that info out to you as soon as possible. Mm. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk about this last question here uh, in, in our next topic. But, man, it's, it, it just feels like, I, I don't know about you, Heinze, but with where we're at right now for, uh, for the game and how long it's been since we've had a, a Road Ahead or State of the Galaxy, I just, it, it just felt to me like beginning of the year, we're almost a February already, that and a post on what their plans are should be imminent right now. Yeah. It looks like our boy Doja has smacked on a data disc that deflects all comments and answers. I mean, seriously, having a look at that, that is nothing but deflection. Um, it, no, it's reflected damage because it did, well, it did, it did damage. emotional yeah. damage, yeah. damage, emotional damage. damage. <laughs> to me. <laughs> ah, I love it. It's great. Oh, it's hilarious. But no, honestly, it's, uh, Pretty disappointing. I mean, we are in January. We're halfway through. We know they've been in the office for a while because we've been getting character releases. So we know that they're there. Uh, they know that they're on deck. And yeah. Uh, yeah, certainly sooner rather than later, it's time to sort of, you know, get up and running. But yeah, we, we need to, I, I think a lot of people would be pretty annoyed if things didn't really crank up until March. I mean, there's still, you know, there's a lot going on between now and then. I mean, right. yeah, Conquest, early February. Well, What's the character release? We'll talk about that one in mine. You know, I mean, that's just right. one example that, you know, normally that's all, that's all out and about by now. Let's be, let's be clear. So 
Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I understand it's certainly been a holiday period and, and certainly need to get back on deck, but come on, guys. Um, that That's, yeah, that's probably not cool. And it's really not a good look. I think that's probably more than anything. No. Deception yeah. is, is a big, big thing. And reading that and looking at it, you just think to yourself, yeah, it doesn't look real positive for much happening in the next month or so, maybe two, you know, and, and I don't, I don't think we want to see that. No, I, I completely I agree. Wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but it yeah. just doesn't look, it really doesn't. And I'll, I'll cut Doja a little bit of slack. I mean, he's just, don't kill the messenger, right? I mean, don't, no, Doja, Doja's I mean, given us as much information as, as he's allowed to give. And I, and I, 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 I appreciate communication no matter how it comes, even, even if it's not what we want to hear. Uh, but that yeah. said, um, you know, right now it just th this just feels like a like a gut punch almost to me. Where yeah. I, I, I we're not, yeah, yeah, we're I not going to. The road ahead was going to hit last week. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. We're, we're not going to hang ho Doja to right. We love Doja. He's been doing some great work, and Crumb. They've both been communicating over the last twelve months. That's improved enormously, and there is no way we want it to go backwards. So we're not going to sit here and pot shot them because it's not their decision a lot of the time anyway. It goes higher up to people that make the decisions. And I yeah. think that certainly they're the face of it and they couple a lot of the brunt from the community. That is obviously the role. That is the job and, and that's fine. But yeah, we should never take it personally against these guys. No way. Um, Still though, as a, it's, it's a weak response and, and it's, oh. it's weak to have nothing ready for this community other than a couple characters. Right. I, I, mean, I honestly think that they were better off actually not even doing this Q and A. Like they would be better off not even saying that than actually saying what they did. Well, in their defense too, I, I don't think this was like an official Q and A. Doja just pops into uh, the Galaxy Heroes Events Discord server and just takes questions every once in a while. So it's it's pretty normal to do this. Uh, yeah. But but yeah, I mean. Yeah, it just, it just kind of uh, leaves us uh, scratching our heads. So I don't know, man. Uh, hopefully we get something soon. But I, I feel like this community is pretty in need of something <laughs> coming down the pipeline. 100%. Something other than a marquee character right now. 100%. Absolutely. So. I, I think I think that we all we're at the point now as a community. I think that we definitely, you know, definitely deserve something else, and we're we're ready to go. Uh, we're all here. Um, you know, the, the Omicron packs are coming out. We'll talk about that in a minute as well, mine. But, uh, you know, there's certainly things going on out there, just, you know, not as far as a viewpoint of a direction for the game for this year. And I think late January, early February is about the right time that we should be getting that. That's enough time. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. All right. Uh, now, the next part of this post, um, another part of this Q&A. Doja, here you go. You got both topics on Rogue Actions today. Uh, mm -hmm. When can we sim the Sith Raid? And Doja has asked about this before the break, and he says, I think it will be a while. Nothing imminent, that's for sure. So that's a no. So basically, <laughs> oh, no. Like, no. What? Um, how I is love that, you, Doja. I how love is you. that not, not in the pipeline? So, so totally here, here's what, this kind of made me realize something. Uh, raids are the new ships, Heinze. Mm -hmm. They're in okay. the game. There's something that adds value to the game in some ways. But by and large, they just... Let them sit there, and they don't want to do anything with them. And maybe, mm. maybe we'll get a, a rework. You know, like we got ships 2.0, and hopefully that fixes things. You know, maybe we'll get a, uh, you know, a challenge to your rancor raid. But then it's just nothing happens with raids. Nothing. I mean, the the problem with this particular one with the Sith raid, if we're talking about the Sith raid specifically, is that that absolutely should be simmed and it should be done yesterday because it's been broken since it was released. Yeah. Um, there have been, yeah. I've never seen a game mode with as many changes as the heroic Sith raid. And we know that the, you know, the rewards have been great for a long, long time. And, and we've been, you know, we've been cranking this out for years now, right? But every time we turn around, a new team comes out, there's an unknown interaction, which makes some sort of a loop. Um, and honestly, everyone is soloing it anyway. Now let's be clear. Um, SLKR makes it soloable. It's really a farce. And the sooner we just hit the sim button on it and move on, the better. Because honestly, it's an annoyance now. Yeah, It really is for the majority of the player base. And I'm not talking about those, you know, smaller to mid-tier players that probably really, really enjoy that as far as their guilds and the smaller guilds. I'm right. sorry if you don't agree with me. Um, if you think that, you know, because I'm at the top of the tree, that you don't, you guys don't matter. I don't think that's true. I think you guys should be able to complete it. You should be able to sim it, get your rewards, and focus on more important things 
uh, in the guild because the more that we don't have to coordinate things like that, it's easier your job's going to be anyway. So just sim the damn thing if you don't care about it because it's broken. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we, we, we get a comment here in the chat because we are recording this live. I, I just love this. I want to I wanna call out uh, Arc Trooper 1409 who says someone should have asked Doja, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, no, look, as I said, I think there's only so much. I mean, there's a lot of things, of course, subject to change. And of course, they got to go through approvals process. He probably might know what's going on, but he's just not legally allowed to say it. Um, and, and that happens with big business, right? I mean, yeah. he's come out, he's fronted up and said, hey, we're here trying to answer what I can. Don't have the answers you want, but I'm here trying to talk to you and give you anything I can. And I just think that certainly he's just not in the position where he can release stuff, probably. Yeah. And as soon as they can, I'm sure that they're going to hit us with it pretty hard in the forums. All right. Well, let's let's hope that we get something soon. Although, I, I mean, honestly, I'm going to tell you guys right now not to expect much. Right now, it feels like we just kind of need to go on autopilot and wait for a couple of weeks at least, probably longer, maybe a month before they tell us what whatever they're doing here. And so it's... It just doesn't feel like there's much to be excited about right now, and I'm pretty bummed about it. And if CG wants me to, I, I mean, I, it's probably likely that there's somebody out there thinking, "Oh gosh, like this is, this is so negative." It's like, well, give us something else to talk about then. Like <laughs> this is, yeah, this is all right. we get to talk about right now. So that's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> it's a slow news week, Cubs. Hundred percent. There's not much coming our way it's as far as knowledge. Slow news, news no, month. So. How do we have? January 2022, and this is all we get to talk about. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's frustrating. I, I guess Conquest. Or we got to have an announcement with Conquest here relatively soon, right? Right. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll have a, we'll have a chat about that on the other side of the video, mate. But, uh, yeah, we definitely need to talk about that one. All right. I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming. Come to Heinze's video. It's going to be sexy.